friends, today I'm gonna to talk about my most anticipated releases for the first quarter of 2019. So these are my most anticipated releases for January, February and March of 2019 and I'm incredibly excited to talk about all of these. Just a little disclaimer as always that first of all, especially when it comes to diverse releases, it could be that shortly before the release there will be a couple of reviews that kind of talk about problematic elements in the book. I obviously don't know that right now, but always do your research when it comes to, you know, diverse releases especially and then also release dates could always change and sometimes Goodreads has the wrong release dates so you know I'm not guaranteeing that these are right <laughs> but yeah I just wanted to talk about these releases I have quite a lot so I think we should just get into it so first I have The Wicked King by Holly Beck this comes out January 9th and I just posted a review of this because I was fortunate enough to get an arc of this I am so excited for this to come out and for everybody to read this because I I thought that it was so much better than The Crow Prince. Like, The Crow Prince was okay for me, but The Wicked King was fucking amazing. Yeah, if you want to know more of my thoughts, I'm gonna leave a link to my review in the info card and in the description, obviously. On January 15th, we have Our Year of Maybe by Rachel Lynn Salomon. This is a YA contemporary, and I know it's about two best friends, and they both have POVs, and after the main character, the main female character, gives her kidney to the male character, he kind of all of a sudden has feelings for this guy, even though before he had feelings for her. Her, so there's something strange going on but I just know that it's gonna be a love triangle and that the you know male character is bi which is really exciting and I also think that the female male character is Jewish she's a dancer it just is one of those books that really sounds like something I would love because of all of the different elements in it and I just really hope that it lives up to my expectation then on January 22nd we have Ship of Smoke and Steel by Django Wexler this is the first in a YA fantasy trilogy and I I just know that this is about a girl who has a special ability that she should have declared to the kingdom to kind of be in the king's service with that ability but she didn't and they find out and then she has to go on this journey to find this ghost ship because of that like to save her family I think something like that I just know that I read about ghost ship and I think about Pirates of the Caribbean and the Black Pearl and so I am just so fucking excited because Pirates of the Caribbean is my favorite movie franchise of all fucking time well the first three okay let's not talk about the fifth and the fourth but <laughs> when I read Ghost Ship that's just what I think about and so I am very much looking forward to this one then on January 29th we have King of Scars by Lee Bardugo can you believe that it's actually time for King of Scars to happen? Because I can't. Like, I just feel like when this got announced, 2019 seemed so far away and now it's almost here. I just cannot believe this at all. Nikolai is my favorite character from the whole Grishaverse. I mean everyone included. I love Nikolai. He is my baby and I just cannot wait for him to have his own novel. I cannot wait to see Nina again. It's gonna be so fantastic. Then on February 5th we have Courting Darkness by Robin Lefevers. Now this currently might be my most anticipated release of the whole year. Like I'm talking more excited than any Victoria Schwab release. I'm talking more excited than Chain of Gold. I cannot wait for this book. This is the first book in a, I think, companion duology to the His Fair Assassin trilogy. I think that definitely you should have read the His Fair Assassin trilogy before you go into this one, but I think it's like not like an exact continuation, more like a companion. I don't, I don't know. All I know is that I'm incredibly excited about this because I really, really love the His Fair Assassin trilogy. Like it's one of my favorite trilogies. It's just so wonderful and I'm pretty sure that this book is going to be from the point of view of Sibella who was my favorite character in the original trilogy and her book like each book is from a different point of view her book was my favorite in the trilogy as well so I am just 
unbelievably excited for this release. I just cannot wait. I have so much faith in Robin the Fevers, in this world, in these characters. It's gonna be fucking amazing. I'm so excited. Then also on February 5th, I have Dark of the West by Joanna Hathaway. Honestly, this sounds like a super generic kind of YA fantasy, but that is maybe why I'm so super excited about it because I love me some <laughs> generic YA fantasy. This is about rivaling kingdoms and then I think the general's son of the one kingdom goes to the kingdom as a spy and falls in love with that kingdom's princess and so it's just kind of like a forbidden romance kind of thing it's it sounds very much like my kind of thing even though it's generic i can't wait then on february 14th perfect for valentine's day we have how to talk to nice english girls by gretchen evans all i know about this is that this is a female female romance historical fiction novel and that's all i need to know it's gonna be pretty girls in pretty dresses falling in love and i'm just like fuck yeah <laughs> then on february 19th we have the afterward by ek johnston for me this is already exciting because of the author like i'm really excited for another novel by ek johnston and i think this is a fantasy that very much focuses on the romance that's what i've kind of read from early reviews already and it just seems to be a romance set in a fantasy world between a knight and a thief and i like that it's kind of a story that is set after this big thing happened where these characters were kind of the heroes that saved the world and then I think it's these characters kind of finding their way back together. I think going into it knowing that it's not gonna really be a fantasy story but just a romance set in a fantasy world has me super excited and I just cannot wait because I really have a lot of faith in E.K. Johnson's stories. Then we have four releases on February 26th. The first one is We Set the Dark on Fire by Taylor K. Mejia. I think is how you pronounce the name. I tried to look it up but I couldn't find the author pronouncing their own name. This is about, I don't know if it's about like a fantasy world or if it's like a dystopian kind of our world but it is about a world where women are trained to either run a household for a man or to raise the children and the protagonist I think becomes part of this like rebellion group and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a female female romance in there as well so it just ticks a lot of boxes I think it's gonna be very timely has a female female romance and I'm pretty sure Latinx characters so it just sounds fucking amazing another February 26th release is Warrior of the Wild by Trisha Levenseller this is another one where I'm already excited because of the author because I loved Trisha Levenseller's Daughter of the Pirate King duology and I just know that this is about female warriors that's it. Like, the author and female warrior, that's basically two buzzwords for me. <laughs> and then also on February 26th is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. This is an adult fantasy that I added to my Goodreads wishlist in April 2016. That is when Samantha Shannon announced this book and I am so excited that it is finally time for this to come out. Like, I had given up on this. I thought it was not gonna happen, but it's finally happening. It's a huge chunker i really don't know a lot about it and i think they are kind of trying to keep it vague but i'm just incredibly excited like everything i have heard about it just the way the cover looks already i am so pumped and the fourth february 26th release is an affair of poisons by eddie thorley the main character's mother is in this shadow society who poison king louis the 14th the sun king so it's set in france which is exciting and then after the king's death the bastard son is supposed to be the new king but he wasn't really ready for that task and then i think that that bastard son and the you know main character work together form a rebellion probably hopefully fall in love i just think that this sounds super intriguing i really love this cover and i don't i don't know what exactly about it just gets me maybe because it's set in france because it's historical fiction because i'm waiting for a romance but there's just a lot of things in there that i really want to read about then on march 5th we have the queen's resistance by rebecca ross this is the sequel to the queen's rising and i absolutely love the queen's rising and i was fortunate enough to get an arc of the queen's resistance that i have already read because i could not wait and I love the Queen's Resistance as well. So if you love the Queen's Rising, definitely, you know, be excited for the Queen's Resistance because it really builds up on the first book and just adds a lot of new interesting things to the story. I will have a review up for this just, you know, 
like a week or two before release but for now I'm gonna leave my review for the first book in the info card and in the description definitely check it out I love The Queen's Rising so much and I think it's super underrated and I just cannot wait for the sequel to be out in the world also on March 5th we have Once in Future by Corey McCarthy and Amy Rose Capetta this is a science fiction fantasy retelling of the Arthur legend and it is I'm not sure if it's a female female romance but I definitely know that it's queer and that is all that I need to know it's a retelling it's queer it's by Amy Rose Capetta so that ticks a lot of boxes and I'm super excited for this one even though I have heard some mixed reviews I still cannot wait to get my hands on this on March 6 we have the Steel Prince graphic novel this is the first volume in a Shades of Magic kind of prequel graphic novel series and I'm incredibly excited I have read the first issue so the kind of first part Part of this volume and I think it has so much potential I think this could really be so amazing and just seeing this world in graphic novel form is gonna be so incredible I absolutely cannot wait to have this volume in my hands if you've been here for just a little bit you just know that I love Victoria Schwab and that I love Shades of Magic so this is another highly 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 anticipated release and I'm just so excited for all of us to read it to fangirl about it and Oh, it's gonna be so good. Then on March 19th, we have Sherwood by Megan Spooner. This is a retelling of Robin Hood and it takes place after Robin Hood has been killed and Marion kind of takes over, I wanna say. So I think it's kind of like a female Robin Hood story, which is another one that just ticks a lot of my boxes. I've said it a thousand times before. This cover just is my cover aesthetic. I just love girls with bows on the cover and so I'm really excited for this one as well. And then finally on March 26 we have Miranda in Milan by Catherine Ducat. This is a retelling of The Tempest by Shakespeare and I know it is female female romance. That's it folks, that is all. <laughs> like Shakespeare retelling and female female romance Fuck yeah. So these were all of my most anticipated releases for the first three months of 2019. Please let me know if you are excited for any of these as well, or if there's anything that I didn't mention that you're really looking forward to for the first quarter of 2019. And yeah, I make new videos every Wednesday and Sunday with occasional reviews on Friday. So click subscribe to never miss anything and hit the little bell so you get notified as well. And thank you so, so much for watching. I guess I'll see you soon. Bye.